was an ID, uh, uh, appointed ID uh, administrator. The improvement districts were set up because you didn't have population or industry or that kind of stuff. And they were administered by, basically by a board of local ranchers and farmers and, and other industry people eh, to, to administrate it. And it was interesting. My dad got into that. that it was a choice between my dad and I actually at one time because they come and approach both of us who was going to do it because they wanted representatives from different parts of the uh, the improvement district too. So it was interesting. So he, I said, "Well, I got a chance to run the ranch if he runs the politics." <laughs> so that was to me that was a win-win situation. But, but and and I enjoyed that too. But it's it's he he really liked it too. He really got good at it. In fact, most I got so many family members that are slip served on councils and stuff. My, and my dad was the founding one of the founding um, uh, councillors in the MD of Big Horn. Nineteen eighty-eight, that building we got for a, a buck, I think it was, when the uh, the uh, Olympics were over, and the, they uh, gave it to us for an administration building. We had to do quite a bit of restructuring and they're still doing restructuring on it but it was basically a bunch of atco trailers that put together but that's one of the things you got to find in here nowadays we don't do enough of those kind of things is re uh, making what we have and reusing what we have and i think that's that's changing too over the years now he was on there a lot and i was on quite a few with administration boards with the uh, Alberta uh, Associated Agricultural Fieldman. And I, I was on the uh, uh, special species, uh, species at risk type, type of things. It was, it was really interesting and it's still interesting because it doesn't end. You get one problem and you got another problem that <laughs> keeps going on. But so, it, it, yeah, and I think that that's one of the things that my whole family has been re really good at is doing that kind of stuff, volunteering. Now that I'm living in no full zone and doing stuff like that, it bothers me because you ask people, well, what are you doing? Well, nothing. I've tried to volunteer and I try to do things. And I ask some of them, did you ever teach Sunday school? Did you do? No, they, no, that's not up for us to do. You know, they don't think that we are part of the society and that's one of the things you have to think and have to belong and do with me. But and I and I like I say, I really enjoy it. And I don't know if you did when you were a ranch counselor. It's it's rewarding because you're helping people all the time. And I, I remember at one time when I first came to the MD, they they said to me, Well well you really are a nice guy. And because they're so used to me being a, the guy that gives them a fine if you didn't do things right. Well, you know, you've got to change people's minds too on those kind of things. But that really rewarded me too because I got to know some of these people really, really well. Uh, Bill Kroll up in the north end of it, for example, he totally blew me away. Here's a retired bus driver that's got a quarter of land. And what does he do? He collects toys and bikes and stuff all year round and takes the truckload of stuff down to Mexico where he overwinters. There are people like that all over the place, but they don't get credit. And that bothers me. So we have to, we're part of society and we have to belong to society and we have to do things. So I miss my horse. <laughs> I do. I mean, I'm not capable of doing a lot of things I used to do, but I still have those memories and I still have that, all those things that, that are, make things light worth living in. So, and I don't know about you guys, but when I was with the municipalities, I represented 70 on several wards. And guess what? I could go to any municipality in the province and walk into a, an office and stuff, and people knew who I was and we talked. You have to do those kind of things. So, very important to do. And that, that's, that's one thing my dad was good at too. He also liked to argue, but that's part of life too. So, but it's, it's I would never have given up any of that kind of life. I don't think ever, and never will. 
Let's put it that way. I fight too much even trying to minister to some of these, these people and the old folks. So I think that's important. 